Hello magical box lovers and welcome to my channel. My name's Helen. I'm 46 years old and I live here in it's sunny blue sky Derbyshire. Can't believe it. Yay! <laughs> now I have to apologise for my absence. These videos are a little bit uh, later than usual. Uh, I've been feeling a little bit under the weather. Uh, I'm still not 100%. Um, I've recently been diagnosed with AF and that is, it. I'm okay, um, I, it just leaves me feeling a, a bit weak and um, basically it's just like palpitations but it also leaves you feeling quite faint and very tired and drained and um, I'm having loads of tests done and everything, they're trying to figure out why it's happening and everything um, but I'm okay, don't worry, I'm fine um, but it's hard to keep a balance of still being at work getting your home life sorted because um, all I want to do is sleep <laughs> so I, if you see that I'm not my usual bubbly self it's because I'm absolutely exhausted all of the time and I feel quite shaky and dizzy and not my usual self so if you see that I'm not my usual self it's because I'm not but I'm here with you guys because I wanted to put these videos out because I truly love speaking to you guys you guys make me feel so much better when I do um, so yeah so that's it, that's all I'm going to talk about it, so yes, I'm, I'm being looked after, everything's fine, I just wanted to, you know, to say my apologies, and thank you to everyone who has said uh, get well wishes, I did a little post, because I always forget that you can do that on uh, YouTube, that you can do a little post, uh, so I want to say thank you to everyone who reached out and said, you know, get well wishes, so thank you for that, and also I reached a milestone, I reached a thousand subscribers, so thank you to each and every one of you who stuck with me through thick and thin, uh, through the years it's been about three years in the making because I had like a year doing the makeup videos which wasn't very successful and then I've done about two years I think doing the um, witchcraft boxes as you know um, so yeah and it's all been from purely nothing um, I don't have like an Instagram following or a TikTok following uh, I just started my YouTube from scratch um, I'm not like a social butterfly so it's not like I've got huge social medias and people find me that way or anything like that so it's purely organic um, and I'm, it's all you guys that have found me. I haven't done anything, you know, you can like buy uh, subscriptions and do all this cheating way. No, you guys have come to me naturally and that's what I wanted my channel to be about and um, I love each and every one of you. You're my family and I love it. So, yes, I love it. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. So, yeah, that made my day because I was feeling quite quite well that day. So, when I reached that milestone, milestone, yeah, I can't believe it. I'm so excited. So, yeah, so unfortunately, we'll see, start seeing adverts. So, I do apologise for that. Uh, if the adverts are too much, because... Um, I have got YouTube Premium on my, so I can't actually see what the adverts are like on it. If they are too much, please let me know, and I will try and sort out where the adverts are going to be, because it's all new to me. So just, I, I just want your thoughts and opinions and comments. So just put them in the, in the comment section and let let me know your thoughts and feelings. Thank you. So, as you know, this time of year is my favourite time of year, and I just thought I'd share with you before we start with the box, just some little glimpses of my garden. Now, I know some of you are gonna, gonna go, why should, why, should pick, why should pick these, why should pick snowdrops? I am using them as part of an offering, so yes. Uh, some people are very, very superstitious about picking snowdrops and having them in the house, because uh, it can foretell death and all sorts of nasty things, but, I'm, I'm a witch who's not really superstitious, believe it or not. I do have some type of superstitions, but um, not, I'm not really one of those. Um, so I'm not really a folk practitioner either. So you know how some folk practices are heavily relied on superstition. You know, I'm thinking more like Italian folk practitioner. Uh, well, I, I'm i not like that at all. I'm one of these people, if, if there's a ladder in my path, I'm not bothered if I walk under it or around it. That's just me, you know. Um, so, yeah, so if, if I want to put crocuses, uh, crocuses, snowdrops in my house uh, and dedicate them, I, I, I do. 
you know. Um, people can say, yeah, that's why you're unwell then. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not that. Um, but these are going to be used as uh, part of a um, part of an offering that I'm planning on doing, and they're actually out in my garden. And I thought you guys might like to see them because I, I am aware that some some of you may never have seen a live one. Um, so yeah, these are snowdrops out my garden. I have got some double ones somewhere, but they haven't come out yet. But they're absolutely beautiful. And then when these are finished, they don't go to waste, I will then dry them and I will use them in spells or offerings. So anything that I cut, it's very rare that I do cut flowers. All my cut flowers I reuse so they don't just go, they always get used again by the offerings as in dried offerings or even just like garnishing to make look pretty you know for your offerings um because these don't last that is why i tend not to cut them but you know when they are just about you know when they've like dried up anyway outside i do collect the heads that is how i collect them and then i dry them off and then i save them and then my first one i'm sharing with you my daffodils. I love daffodils. And I think it's a, like a type of jet fire one, but because it's got a really, that type of neck, like a swan neck. You know, it's really like a bent neck. It's not like the bright orange middle like jet fire normally have, but and if you know your daffodils, you know what I'm, I'm on about with jet fire. And it's got the really long trumpet. But I bought a pick and mix of uh, daffodils from Sainsbury's. I think it was last year. And this is from that collection. And it's the first one that's come up. None of the others have come up yet. Not not to flower in. Um, they've got buds on. So I thought I'd share with you my first daffodil. So this is again going to be an offering. And you guessed it. I will be saving the daffodil head. And because my stock is diminishing of my uh, dried before I say it what's that I'm an English lass <laughs> Rosemary <laughs> this is from my front door <laughs> of course it's from my front door Rosemary I love it one, one of my friends my best friends in the whole wide world is Rosemary use it all the time absolutely love it for when I'm doing like my kernips ritual when I'm mixing like uh, water with salt water, setting this alight when it, when it's dry, popping it in, and it's like a bit like uh, want for a better word is like which is holy water, and you can anoint yourself with it and cleanse things with it. Um, but yeah, and you can like you use this for your smoke sticks as well. I do that as well. I've got bundles of this rather than using. Um, you know, uh, the endangered sages. Uh, I use my own rosemary. And I've also got some common sage as well that I'll intertwine with some of my uh, lavender. A beautiful, I do love rosemary. I use it all the time and it just feels lovely. It, you know, because I work with it such a lot, it just feels just so healing. And of course, rosemary is a really good, especially if you live in England, it's a really good substitute for just, just about everything really. Um, it's just an all-rounder. It's it's a universal. It's a bit like the white candle hot magic. So for herbs, this is like the universal for herbs for a substitution at a push. Uh, I would say for most things, and again for like smoke cleansing is really really good. And I think it's, it's I mean you can you can buy it in Sainsbury's, you know, in like the herb herb bags and things like that. So yeah, I just wanted to share. My garden's awakening. Yay! Right, so what you've come for. So later than usual is February's only just <laughs> the wonky broomstick. <coughs> Excuse me. So as usual, I'll show you what the packaging looks like. So it's a brown packaging. Uh, it just says thank you for supporting my small business. And it just says uh, on the return label, wonky sub box, Feb says February 23 <laughs> wonky it's February 24 <laughs> honestly you're not watching an old video this is 2024 yeah yeah it is 
I love that. <laughs> it's usually me that gets the dates wrong. So, I've just opened it. I always open my boxes, as you know, just so that I can open it so it's that bit's out of the way. Because uh, otherwise, it, you know, I'm opening the box and it's, come on, Helen, get it over and done with it. I've been talking enough as it is. So, but I haven't looked at the contents. So here we go. Let's open this bit together. As usual, I've got the lovely little sticker of the little cat on the broomstick. Now this, see, you can tell I'm not being very well. I normally just cut around this bit. There we go, because I don't like tearing tissue paper because I save it. <laughs> there we go. Right, so let's get a good angle. So I'll get everything out and then I will go in, in detail <laughs> with everything. This is the ingredients list, and this is the list of the reasons why everything's in there. It's usually the card pull, this looks like the ritual. Ooh, I think that's a hint to what the box is about. Ooh, oh, I need one of them, because I'm a typical woman. Got lots, oh, lots of noodle doodles. See, I haven't even taken these. <laughs> so these usually just dissolve in a sink full of warm water. The warmer the water, the quicker they dissolve. You can feel, you know, just with the warmth of my hand. Or you just pop them in your recycling if you don't want to do that. But they will, you know, they will dissolve. Smells lovely anyway. I don't know. Don't know what's smelling, but something's smelling lovely. When do we got some? <laughs> My box is empty. Take it to one side. Right. Okie dokie. Paperwork first. Okay. Um, where are we? Here we are. I'll read this so. No, I'm not going to read it all to you, don't worry. Welcome to February's Wonky subscription box. I hope you enjoy the goodies enclosed. This month's box is dedicated to the last of our elements range, the element of spirit. I thought it was. So, this information tells you everything of why they've chosen all of these items. And I love reading that later. And if you can just see that there's a pentacle design. It's one of them that, you know, when you're looking at it, you don't notice it. But I notice it when I'm holding it up. That's probably better lighting. And I love that. And of course, there's the website on the bottom there. I will pop the link to the wonky broomstick in the description box down below. Um, so you can just click on that because they do have a website. You don't need to be a subscriber to be able to get onto their web, well, wow, our website, their website, um, because they sell all the magical goodies that you see here, and also other magical goodies that you don't see here. Um, and you can buy the Wonky Diary that I've shown you before, tarot and oracle decks, you name it, anything that you need for your magical, uh, magical life. They've got it, and more. All your needs and wants. And yeah, it's a beautiful web store. And I also recommend their Facebook group as well. Um, because on there you get like to see a sneak peek of what's coming out onto their web store. So, um, you know, you can get in there first kind of thing. Uh, I do know they have had problems with their Instagram account. So if you were on their old Instagram account, I think they were hacked or something like that. So they had to cancel it. So if you're thinking, I haven't heard anything from Monkey for a while, I do know they have changed. Uh, I don't know if it's under the same name or anything now. So if you are having any problems, just get in touch with Wonky and they'll, they'll tell you the, you know, the new logo. Um, 
but I, I just I'm just on their Facebook group it's just the wonky boomstick and you'll find them um, it's just a really nice group as well uh, so here we go this is the Oracle deck uh, the card pull I should say so I will read this to you so it's a card for the wonky collective for February for spirit spirit is argued to be the most important element of all the basis of all other elements the universe the realms are and ourselves but sometimes our spirit can feel low and we can suffer with a lack of confidence because of this card this month is from a little box of confidence and says accept no one's definition of your life define your and also there's like the fifth element there's crystals the plants and the elements um, mistletoes associated with spirit I didn't never thought of that yeah yeah I can see that um, I've got um, a, you know an A4 no it's not A4 is it a whatever size this is this is A5 or A3 I never I'm never certain if it goes up bigger you know so like A5 is bigger or A3 is bigger I don't know anyway this size so a whatever <laughs> uh, binder four cards like this and I've got the uh, polythene pockets you know with the punch pockets so that you pop them in and then you know the the, the nicely put in so then I don't have to punch holes into them um, so they're all contained because I've got the lovely deity cards from uh, Freya's Cauldron and uh, that's what's I was like oh I know I'll, I'll see if I can get like a lovely folder for that and then I was glad I did because then Wonky started doing these and we've had some other ones from uh, my other subscription companies so I've got a nice little folder going from all, all my different companies I've got a lovely little folder oh, lovely so this is the element of spirit and um, is it a ritual or it's no it's telling you how to connect to the element of spirit and it's more correspondences to the spirit uh, so it's about the gender, the elementals, the tools, zodiac, the season, time of day. So it's, it's kind of going along that again. Yeah, purple, violet. I, when I think of spirit, I always think of purple and violet, my, my colours. Um, yeah, when it, that, yeah, that's how I see it. Yeah. How to invoke. Yeah, so that's... Rather than a ritual, it's, it's just telling you about it a bit more in depth than that. So I like that. Right. No, I don't know what to go for next. Is it incense? Incense, yeah. I don't think, we don't normally get incense from one kid, do we? Spellbound, I've, I've never had any from them. Elim Elements Home Fragrance. I do like the logo. Uh, that's one of my favourite logos, you know, for in, the, in, in Witchy World. I do really love that logo. It's probably the, the wicking in me. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that's nice. Frankincense. Oh, that really smells nice. I like that it's in a packet as well, because sometimes they're not, are they? And it's a sealed packet and I can, can really smell it as well. It smells very aftershavey. You know, sometimes they smell a bit, um, they smell a bit incense, you know, that smoky smell. This smells quite, that perfumey smell. So if you're not really keen on perfume smells, but I don't know what it's going to smell like when it's burnt, so. Mm, and it's organic and vegan. Ah, like it. Love it. I've got any. Yes, I have got some frankincense, but it's loose. I have loose frankincense. I like to mix it in. It's nice. Mm, I can smell that all day. It's frankincense. It's got that smell, hasn't it? It's lovely. Um, this one this is intriguing me it says fire hazard on it oh yeah perhaps 
shouldn't be doing this with scissors pointing to my boob, should I? Sense burn. I don't know what it is. I like it. I don't know if it's just. So we've got like the zodiac, and then I don't know anybody who knows the palms. Are these anything to do with palmistry? I don't know anything about palmistry or anything what these symbols are or they just I think that's just I think they're just symbols aren't they that looks like Hermes I think they're just symbols it reminds me of like uh, henna you know when you see people doing I love watching that when they're doing henna I'm looking for like a little hole or something, you know. What is it? I'm going to have to get the... I'm just thinking, I think that's the hole there. Ah, I can see it now. You know, it might not be, I've said, I've mentioned it before, I don't have any lights on when uh, I'm videoing, so it's actually quite dull in here. <laughs> it's, it's black. And I don't know how it's showing up on, on camera. So for me to see like a hole on something black, it's, it's a bit difficult. Ah, it's an incense. I get there eventually. I felt like a right idea then. Well, if cat fits, Helen, you know. But I'm thinking, where, what is it? I like it, but what is it? So, on you, I've never seen anything like this before. I don't know how I feel about burning through someone's hand. That is so unusual. I think it might have felt better if you did if it put it through one of these holes, but I don't think there is an hole there. There is. There's just one hole in in the centre. So there's plenty of ash catching because that is one of my gripes that not enough ash catching. This would be nice for me. I've got a hearth in my front room, um, and it's not quite big enough. Um, my ash catcher I think this might just be right and of course hand doing that catching the ash do it that way is that what it's supposed to be ah, I wonder if it is cat ash catching what do we think guys have, have you ever seen anything like this sorry I've got really shaky hands I do apologize It's not this hand that shape. <laughs> yeah, it's got like astrological symbols and as astrology and astronomy is not my strong point, guys. It really isn't because I just see it and I, I just go, it's numbers and math. So it goes over my head. I know I'm a Gemini. That's as far as I go. Typical Gemini. Typical Gemini. I've got 55,000 projects on the go non-finished I don't know what to make of it do I like it or not it's very unusual I don't, I don't know about that that's so weird 
it'll be used don't worry about that i'll be i'll be using that downstairs yeah, so strange what's it say on the instruction book about it Spirit Palm Incense Holder. So yeah, Spirit Palm. Oh, so it, it, I was right, so it is like you're catching the incense. So it's even weirder. <laughs> I don't... I think if it had just been without the hand, it would be... I'd have really loved it. But I think it's the fact that it's got a hand there and hot ash going on it. It just seems a little bit weird to me. But yeah, unusual. I yeah, will be using it though, don't worry. Right, so I'm going to leave what I consider to be the best one to last. I'll open this because I don't know where it is. Wendy, we've got some. So like Wendy's asked me to save this for her. She's going to be using it for basilisk skin. Look at that. It's going to be perfect. Yeah, I'll be popping that to one side for you, don't, don't worry. That's going in my Wendy stash for you. <laughs> in my <me> Wendy house. <laughs> there you go. That's, that's for you, Wendy. Ooh. So this is so that you can connect with the element of spirit. You, we've got that. Uh, where are we? So, to help you with that, you can use this, I presume. And we've got a lovely purple baggie that I'm just struggling to undo. Purple's my favourite colour. I absolutely love purple. Purple, black, like greys and silver, my colours. Oil, scroll, Pepto-Bismol, <laughs> no it's not, Clarity and Focus, oh nearly right, Pepto-Bismol, <laughs> uh, Spirit Herbs, Charcoal Disc, sorry it's shiny, there we go. Spirit Ritual Spray. Don't know why it took so long for my eyes to focus then. And we get a little um, sigil for Spirit. So you can use this, put the oils on to activate it or create one of your own. Or you can just use these on the other side, make your own. Keep these baggies and use them for you know your keeping everything in or just use them for your herb herb bags i like to use them for you know if you're having a, a bath or a shower pop your herb mix in here tie it up you can either use it as like a herb scrub you know if you haven't got a bath you can put you know water from your shower you still scrub yourself with it or just wait for the shower water to go over your head, whatever you prefer. Um, or just pop it in your bath water, shush it about. And then I, I like to shush it shush, like that. And then like I'm getting, you know, and I, I talk to it as well. <laughs> I ask the herbs to help me. And when I say herbs, you know, I, I mean in flower petals as well as herbs and things like that. So these are great for like bath and shower, you know, with them being big, they can move about and things like that. Um, so that's what I tend to keep these bigger ones for, uh, rather than a spell bag because they're a little bit big. Unless you wanted to do like big petitions and things like that in there. Um, and it's like things like this, save for, you know, you've got your... I'll show you. You've got your little spell jars. There we go. So if you, if you wanted to, you don't have to. Dependent on 
you know i mean these are all the out of date that you know the defunct ones that don't work anymore um that's, that's why they're on display the ones that are working you 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 know you won't see um apart from there's a couple uh special ones behind me that are from wendy uh that are still working um but yeah just pop them on your little bottles there you, like i say you don't have to if you don't want to but i just save things like that and you will you just think oh that'd be nice for that that'd be nice for that you can make if you get a couple of those earrings you know just pop them on some hoops whatever you know just just save things the more things you start to save the more you've got you can even make um, charm divinations uh you get a collection of charms that just speak to you and you start charm throwing uh, you can look into that uh, just do a, a, an internet search and it'll, you can find up charm charm guides uh, i found a free one uh, a while ago about charm guides and it's literally just charms like that and you just the ones that speak to you for a certain thing uh so say like an anchor for, for a travel or something like that you throw that and uh, with your other things and if that lands it's like travel you know all, all sorts all sorts of fun so yeah save, save stuff is what i'm trying to say save it. crikey we've got, got war and peace here <laughs> yeah what have we got spirit invocation bag so we've got an invocation to Awaken your spirit. Um, yeah, so it's an invocation to awaken spirit, and there's a chant. I'm not telling it you because Wonky have gone to great efforts to to do this, especially for the box. Uh, I always advise you. Do your own research. There's plenty of free information out there. Uh, if you know if you can't afford it, uh, one of these boxes. There's plenty of free, free information online. Uh, there's lots of good stuff out there. But there's a lot of bad stuff. So always make sure you cross-reference your research to get, you know, to filter out the bad so that you get the good. Um, but yeah, it's uh, lots of good stuff here. Um, so yeah, it's uh, all about an invocation of how to connect with your spirit and your spirit guides. And it includes a, here we go, tells you what we've got. So we've got a clarity and focus body wash, not Pepto-Bismol, Callum. So it's like I saved the bottle afterwards for when I'm using, you know, making something myself after i tend to you know because that's used something like perfumey i will use that again for like again for something like the same thing for like cosmetic -y types so that's what i tend to do rather than going oh i'll put something edible in that next so that's what i do with my containers um you know with my magical containers when i've finished with them if i've used if I've used like one of my jars for say like prosperity, I'll wash it out, cleanse it, and I'll, I'll use it again for prosperity. I'll I'll keep them separate. I like to think, even though you've washed them and cleansed them and thoroughly cleansed them, I like to think they still have a little bit of imprint somewhere. Um, so that's why I still will keep them separate for those usage. It's just me. Um, you don't have to work like that. Work how you want. Um, but I just like to keep things separate and again work to your budget. If you can't work like that, then then don't. Um, um, but I think this is plastic as well, so plastic will hold like a scent. Um, but I like making like my own, you know, cosmetic -y things and and stuff I like that. Like messing about. <laughs> um, so we've got a spirit element oil. Again, save these when you've done with them because it'll save you so much money. You know, these little droppers, it soon adds up money. Really good. And what's it called? It's spirit element oil. 
and I've got the candle. And we've got that little altar tile, charcoal discs, herbs, and we've got the squirter that we always get. I think it was last month my spray didn't work, but I've got a lot of these, so I just switched the spray out. So that again, you know when you've finished your sprays, just save them, wash them out, save them just in case you do get a, a, a faulty one, then you can just switch it out. So I, I didn't have a problem, I just switched it out. That smells lovely. Yeah, I've got some nice smelly stuff there. I'm gonna smell nice tonight. <laughs> And then we are down to our last item. And I love this because, yeah, I can never make a decision. It's a decision maker. I've seen these, but I don't know how to use them. Hooray up. Have I got, I've got, to, have I got to assemble it? No. So, it's like that, bear with me, ooh, like a swing ball, so it says the pentagram has been associated with the five elements of life as seen in as a representation of connection between the material and spiritual realms how to use ask the decision maker your desired yes or no question gently pull back the hanging pendulum and watch it as it swings the cycles through yes no and rephrase the pendulum will gradually slow down and land on one of three possible outcomes determining your destiny and enabling quick decision making where do i put that <laughs> Oh. Does it twist? Oh my goodness. Right. So I think it might twist in a bit more than that. So it's just like a pendulum. Oh my goodness, I don't like this. Rephrase. That's a bit... <laughs> it went right to rephrase. <laughs> So he asked it a question. Uh, am I filming which box next? Oh, that's rubbish. It keeps getting rephrased. That's right, it's right way. Uh, are my eyes blue? Gotta hold it as still as possible with shaky hands. It feels like there's a magnet in the bottom. That's the best way to describe it. Rephrase. Yeah, I think there's a magnet in it, guys. Let me hold it out. Is it sunny outside? Yeah, 
Yes. Mm. I think you've got a spin. Let's say you've got another look right. Is my name Helen? Be free. <laughs> rephrase <laughs> so I, I don't know what to think about it it definitely feels like there's a magnet there is there a magnet in this no <laughs> Is, is somebody moving this? I'm trying to keep mine still. Yes! Yeah, it's my shaky hands. That is so weird. It's got to be magnets, guys. I'm sorry. That's got to be magnets. <laughs> that is the weirdest thing ever. It feels so strange. If You know that tug of a magnet? That... It feels like that. And you know when you're using a pendulum, you know how a pendulum feels? It don't feel like that. This, if, this feels like that. So there are magnets involved, guys. Just to warn you, if you're thinking of buying it, <laughs> I'm gonna say it feels like there's a magnet, but as as for it working spiritually, I don't. I, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Maybe bit of fun. Take it with a bit of bit of fun. Um, but if you're wanting to, you know, use something popular, use a pendulum, uh, or even just your your necklace, you know. Uh, you don't actually have to use, you know, like a crystal, just your even wedding ring on a bit of string will do. Um, I, I did a video a while ago of the um, pendulum jar. Um, I found it worked a lot better when I was actually touching the jar rather than um, I was away from the jar. So it kind of defeated the whole object. It's sent to need energy to feed it. Uh, but that could just just be my own personal energy it wasn't enough to do it. If there'd been other people with me, it might have, you know, if other people in the room, it might have been enough people to make it do something uh, more. But I found that it's a bit like you know, like them spheres that goes with electricity and you put your hands to it a bit a little bit like that the closer i got to it the more it started to actually work um so i was like oh i got rid of the jar and just just use my pendulum it's a lot easier so uh yeah pinch of salt with that one guys a bit of fun a bit of fun <laughs> so i've i've had a, i've had a fun time with this box it certainly made me laugh <laughs> certainly made me laugh <laughs> So thank you very much for another amazing box, Wonky. Thank you. I've had a fun time. Thank you. And thank you to you guys for joining me for another lovely video. Thank you for making me smile today because I was a little bit under the weather, as you know. So thank you for making me smile. Yeah. So I've enjoyed it. Thank you. So I love each and every one of you and I look forward to seeing my next video. So please stay safe. 
please keep your loved ones safe and hope you have a magical day. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.